Uh, this is going to be a monitor design barn. So we're uh, we're just excited today, guys. Today is the day they're supposed to start setting trusses and stuff like that, and maybe getting the lathing on and some of the metal started and all that kind of stuff. I'm anxious to see how they're going to get that high up yonder in the air because the bobcat doesn't lift that high. I know they have a gin pole on their trailer over there. I see that, so I'm guessing that that's what they're going to use to lift the uh, trusses up with. But, um, and I'm guessing they probably have, uh, their ladders look like they're almost 16 feet ladders. So evidently they're going to work off the ladders to do a lot of it. We're going to watch today, guys, and we're going to see how they get it done. And hopefully by this afternoon, it's going to look a whole lot different than it does right now.
put metal roofs on for years. I don't even know why I didn't buy one of them. I, mean, I used to use them too. I never mm -hmm. used these until I started here. Really? I used to use them too, or skill saw blade back. Oh, it turned backwards, or, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Ah! Throwing sparks everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> this is so much quieter. Oh, man, I'm just checking that out. <laughs> First bought them, they were hundred bucks. They're ninety dollars. Now they're like fifty bucks. Wow. Well, I mean, what is there a particular company or is it just Malco? D Walt yeah. even sells them. Okay, Malco. I'm used to Malco because I yeah. use their shears and everything. Yeah, that's yeah. where they are, Malco. Wow.
I was amazed at the speed in which these three guys worked on this barn. They put this thing up fast and they done a really good job. Uh, as you can see, we decided to go with the metal trusses. I, I'm not, I don't do wood trusses because to me they're, first of all, it takes away from head space up in the top because we're going to put a second floor in this. And I just don't like wood trusses anyway because they're not really that strong. I wanted steel trusses, so I chose uh, this particular company, Register Metal, to go with so that uh, I would have the metal trusses that I wanted. They're all bolted. The trusses are welded in the middle. Uh, they're bolted to the post with carriage bolts all the way through the post. Those are things that I wanted. Uh, they're not like the traditional wooden trusses, just nailed or got steel plates on them or something. These things are bolted. In our area, I think that's what we really needed. Um, now, we chose to go with the monitor-style barn, which is the high in the middle, low on the sides, and it'll have a second floor in it. And we're going to come back and be putting some posts and beams in it like we want. I'm looking for the traditional old-style barn. And once we got the outside posts up, I realized that I could actually get more height because they sent taller posts on the side. So I actually got the sides higher than I originally had planned on for the price. Uh, so I, I let them raise them on up to give me some more clearance underneath it there uh, for space, for storage, or whatever we need to do. Now there is a few things that uh, 
You have to realize that this particular barns with these companies are kits and they're made for everywhere. Well, I'm a contractor, carpenter myself. I've built many of these for farmers in a lot larger scale than this. And I do things a little differently than they do with these kits. Now, they're not saying that this is a bad thing because the crew did a fantastic job. One is I would have left my metal covering the post at the top up yonder, which I'm going to go back and fix that because that's just who I am. Y'all know me. I'm just, that's just who I am. Secondly, we live in a hurricane zone, and I realize that this is a kit. The overhang is just a little lot, uh, a little too much for a hurricane zone. I'm probably going to have to go back and do some altering uh, with uh, blocking, doing some blocking out and stuff like that because it's like 8 or 10 inches of metal hanging over right there. And in a hurricane zone, that metal will get to wave and it'll eventually just jerk the roof off. So uh, I, I got to go back and do some changes on that, which it's a kit. You know, we talked about that when they got here, and they were talking about cutting it all off, and I'm like, nope, I don't want no raw cut edges on my metal or anything like that. Just leave it like it is. I'll fix it. Thirdly was these companies only put screws in the bottom edge and the top edge on every rib, and then all the other lathing in there, they do every other rib. And I totally get that because the, more, the, the fewer screws you have in a roof, the fewer places you have to leak. I totally understand that. I live in a hurricane zone. I'm probably going to go back and put a screw by every rib on it. You know, that's just me. That's just who I am. There's no reflection on the company. It's just something that I do. Uh, and if you want that, you might want to discuss that with the company um, whenever they uh, come to put yours up. But other than that, it's a really fantastic design and I would encourage you to always go with the steel trusses if you can because these wooden ones I'm a contractor been for 26 years I ran companies guys I've put them up with wooden trusses I put wooden trusses on houses and that's fine on a house but these barns they put them trusses every 10 feet apart a wooden truss every 10 foot apart over years those metal plates on the side will eventually give away over years of construction and so that's why I really would tell people, if you're going to do this, do it in steel with the webbing like that. Uh, Y'all know me. I'm all about steel, concrete, and treated wood. I, that's just who I am. I believe that they will last longer and be a lifetime investment if people would just do that. Now, what you're going to see now in the next videos coming up will be the things that I'm going to start doing to this particular barn. But guys, this as a whole will end the videos of the construction of the barn that the company done. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.